welcome to part 17 of my sunflower sculpture. Right. <coughs> oh dear, I've just noticed something that I've mucked up already. I'm going to sort that out in a minute. Right, here we go. This is a... Uh, I'll tell you what, I'm just going to hold it up this way. So I can show you. But it's all stuck down now. Here's the, the hook thing on the back. And it hangs nicely on the wall. There we are. That's what it looks like. Right. All of the petals are in the right place. Now then. Actually, I'm just going to show you this very quickly over here. Uh, come on, PC. Right. These little flowerlets. Little five-pointed star flowerlets. Um, let me see if I've got a better picture of them. Um, but they're little, these little things here. And I've had to make about well it was uh, over 60 petals for the, the ring. Oh, I can't remember what they call it now. Now I've got to make the little flowers that are going to adorn the, the uh, let me just show you, the inner rows of, so it's going to be about the, the outer two or three rows, there's going to be about a hundred of them I reckon, and this is how I'm making them, I've already worked out how I'm making them and these are the ones I've done so far 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 so another 90 odd to go right, you might notice that I've got a a little um, mould I made of a I'm really glad I pick up stuff that I just find on the floor, especially shiny things like a magpie, because I found a little star that is used for confetti or something, but I've got a few of them, I've got a few different sizes, and I happen to just have the right size, so what I'm doing, I'm just painting a bit of this dental separator I used, I've been trying uh, washing up liquid, that didn't work, but this seems to work okay, and then... um. I was trying all sorts of methods of uh, pushing clay in there and then sticking this pointy thing in there and trying to pull it out, but I'm just going to show you how I do it. That would be the best way to sh show you. So I'm just taking a bit of clay, pushing it in there, leaving a little bit to hold on to, but then from the other side I'm using this round, point, round uh, ball end thing squishing it into the middle of it and hopefully it just pushes it off if not I can just pull it and then in the middle bit I'm squishing my tool in and then there's going to be lots of uh, tidying up to do and then I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to attach him onto here yet but I'll cross that bridge when I come to it but for the time being I'm getting the five pointed star petal bit for the miniature little flowers that appear uh, and this is going to take days and then I've got to make I've got to attach them and I've got to paint them and then I've got to make a B I think I'm going to be making a B line for the exit to be honest but, um, and as you may have here I've worked out I've got a bit of a cold the second cold I've had in my 11 years as being a vegan. I don't know where I got it from. I think I got it from the gym. So I'm not going back to the gym until I was gone. And uh, I don't take prescription chemist pharmacy stuff when I have a cold. I just, uh, I've only had it for a couple of days, but... Um, I want to get rid of it. I definitely want to get rid of it before I go down my parents for Christmas. Um, but I, 
been reading up on remedies and uh, keeping fluids in your system. So I'm going to have a making sure I've got a cup of tea. I mean, it's not a bad cold. When I get cold, it's usually just blocked up ears, runny right hand nostril, and phlegmy throat. Don't really get sore throats or anything. Yeah, just sort of trying to keep warm. Uh, uh, yeah, keep um, keep lots of uh, humidity in the, the building. Just eating properly. Um, that's pretty much it, really. I can't remember the rest. That was good, wasn't it? Me and my get rid of a cold. Just lots of fluids, uh, sipping sipping salt water. I, mean, I think you only need to do that if you've got a sore throat, I would have thought. But yeah, very, very rare thing for me to get ill. And you can't, I read that, I looked up just to see if you can catch a cold from being cold. Yeah, so I've got to, these have got to go hard, and then I'm going to adjust them, and then I don't know how I'm going to, I don't know how I'm going to adjust them, to be honest, because they're such tiny little things, I haven't really left myself anything to hold on to, but once they've all gone hard, I can cross that bridge when I come to it. I might just use this tool to sit them on, and then tidy them up and just stick them straight on there because they've got to have a kind of a stamen as well, a dark stamen and then with the, the tip of it has got to have all of the uh, the pollen on it that the bee's going to come and pick up. But yeah, it's took, taken me quite a long time to work out how to do this. I think this method is working fine. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. I don't want to bore the, tear, bore the hell out of you. And uh, thank you very much for watching. I um, hope you enjoyed the video. Have a lovely day. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. And goodbye. And be careful out there. Have a good day and be lucky. Bye-bye.